Check it out, guys. I just got the official Captain Cosmos Collector's Edition decals! Whoa! Cool! Intergalactic! Oh! <laughs> what are you gonna do with them, huh? You're supposed to stick them on your wings, or your tail fin, or, or someplace. But if I do that, then, then I can't see them. And I really want to see this one. It's my favorite, the Captain Cosmos warning signal. It's used to summon him in case of an emergency! Ooh, it's so pretty! It looks like I have two of these. Here, you can have one, Starling. Yippee! Thanks, Hawk! May I please have your attention? Coot has a request. Uh, thank you. I need two strong cadets to join me at Fuel Station Alpha. Mm, need to make some repairs up there. Oh, Coot! Oh, oh, no, Coot! Oh, hey, hey, pick me! I want to go! Me. Okay. Raven, Hawk, you're up. Well, up in space, that is. <laughs> what tools should we bring along? <laughs> Won't need any. Everything is already up at the fuel station. Nobody ever lets me do anything. What about me? I can help. Let me do something, please. Phooey. Hmm. I have an important job for you, Starling. Really? Yay! Thank you, Headmaster. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Indeed. You can keep an eye on... Oh my gosh! I almost forgot! See you later! A friend is a friend is a friend. Hey, Starling. I thought you were going to help Headmaster Crane. Shh! I'm watching my lunar pony! I'm Gooey Gumdrop! I'm Princess Sugarlump! I'm Carrot. I've never understood how you can watch such a corny show, Starling. It's not corny. It's totally awesome. In this episode, Princess Sugarlumps and Mooney Mooney have to stop an invasion from the Stinky Sockbots. Uh. Headmaster Crane is waiting for you at the observatory right now. Unless you have to watch another episode of My Lunar Pony. No, I'm coming. Look out for that Stinky Sockbot, Mooney Mooney. Mooney Mooney? Oh, brother. Now, as soon as I open this door, come inside as quickly as you can. And don't want any equipment floating out. What did I tell you? Everything we need is right here. Whoa! How cool is this? I'll tell you what tools to grab, and then we'll get to work. Wow, there's so much space in outer space. So, what's my super important job? Your task is simple. To observe and then to report your findings. Okay, but it looks like there's nothing to see. As a wise rocket once said, seeing nothing is still seeing. Thank you, Headmaster Crane. I promise to do a great job. Poor kid. She might as well be watching raindrops drying on her space visor. I know. There's a whole lot of nothing out there. On a good day. <sighs> Every part of the inner solar system kind of looks the same. Thanks for keeping me company, Mr. Rocket Baby. Hmm, there's something strange looking about that star. It's shinier than all the others. I'd better report this. And so when we look at the stars, we have absolutely wonderful ideas about where we may go and how we may get there. Um, sorry to bother you, Headmaster, but there's something weird about one of the stars. I think you should take a look. Very well. Excuse me, class. Exactly which star did you mean? Um, oh, um, I'm not sure. It was here a minute ago. I appreciate the dedication to your task, Starling. However, in the future, you need not report what you see immediately. 
Unless it is truly out of the ordinary. Right. Got it. Huh. Sorry. Thanks for helping me return these empty fuel canisters to the Academy. I've got my wings full here, so do me a favor, Raven, and lock the door to the supply room. Roger, Coot. Yo, Hawk. Bet you can't do this without losing your canister. Or lunch! <laughs> Bet you I can! Must have fallen asleep. Headmaster Crane won't like that. We've got a job to do. What's that? Whatever it is, it sure looks out of the ordinary. What do you think, Mr. Rocket Baby? It's getting closer. We need to tell Headmaster Crane right now. Huh? Sorry to bother you again, but there's a big, scary blob approaching our planet. You've got to see it. Hurry! It appears that you accidentally turned the eyepiece, causing the image in the lens to become larger. What you saw was most likely a gas cloud, millions of miles away. Oops. Sorry again. Don't feel bad, Starling. You should see what I did the first time I had this assignment. Me too. I thought I saw a meteor heading right for the Academy. It turned out to be a speck of dirt on my visor. Perhaps you have been observing long enough, Starling. Please give me another chance. If I quit now, I'll never be like the other cadets. Please, Headmaster. I promise I'll do better. Very well. I've got to keep looking, Mr. Rocket Baby. I've got to do a good job. I've got to. I've got to. I think I am. I think Mr. Rocket Baby. <laughs> Help us, darling. We're being invaded by the stinky dog box. You're the only one who can save us. Oh no, Mr. Rocket Baby, we're being invaded. We've got to warn everybody before it's too late. Ava, activate red alert. What is it? What's going on? I don't huh? know. Follow me, everybody. We're being invaded by the stinky sock bot. We've got to stop them. <laughs> oh no. It's true. Just ask Mr. Rocket Baby or Mooney Mooney. Starling, you've been watching way too much My Lunar Pony. Ugh. I wouldn't watch that show for all the high-speed rocket fuel in the universe. Hey, you're just like the little rocket who cried aliens. The who who did what? Once upon a time, there was a little rocket who kept warning everyone that aliens were invading Earth. But it wasn't true. And then when the aliens did invade Earth, the little rocket tried to warn everyone. But no one believed her. Don't pay any attention to Raven. That's just a silly story. Never happened. Ha! Until now. Stop teasing her. I'm sure she feels bad enough. As a wise rocket once said, our mistakes are our greatest teachers. If that's true, then I'm gonna be a genius. I don't know if you're still awake, Mr. Rocket Baby, but I really made a mess of things. Now I guess I'll never be treated like the other cadets. I'll always be the little rocket who cried aliens. I guess I'll take one more look, and then it's off to bed. Hey, what's that moving around in space? Well, this time, I'm not taking any chances. Let's get a closer look. What's all that stuff floating around up there? This time, I know I'm not imagining it. This is a real emergency. We've got to get help. But what if they don't believe me, and they won't come? I've got to tell them, but I know they won't believe me. But I've got to do something. Uh, what should I do, Mr. Rocket Baby? What should I do? It's my favorite, the Captain Cosmo's warning signal. It's used to summon him in case of an emergency. <laughs> Maybe they won't come out for me, but I'll bet that one of them will come out for this. Captain Cosmos. Hawk, Hawk, look at the sky. Huh? It's... it's... the Captain Cosmos warning signal! Captain Cosmos reporting for duty! I've always wanted to say that. Uh, what's going on here? I just saw a whole bunch of weird objects floating around in space near the fuel station. I know I messed up before, and I don't blame you if you don't believe me. But this time, it's true. I believe you, Starling. <sighs> Attention, cadets! This is Hawk! Report outside immediately! 
there's some strange stuff floating around in space. I think we should investigate. <laughs> see anything it's another false alarm let's go back to sleep and wait for the next one wait why is that door opened door what door uh oh we forgot to lock the supply room door i guess that would explain why all the supplies are missing coot is not gonna be happy about this you think you're in big trouble hawk me i distinctly remember coot telling you to lock the door let's not argue guys there's still time to collect the missing supplies and put them back robin's right what are we waiting for? Let's go! Who told you to do it? Liar, liar, thrusters on fire! Hey, wait for me! I wish to thank Starling for a job well done. Her keen powers of observation prove that she will someday make a splendid cadet. Thank you, Headmaster Crane. Thanks, everybody. I couldn't have done it without Mr. Rocket Baby. Sorry for all the trouble I caused. Looks like Starling's not the only one around here who makes mistakes. And you're sorry you teased her, right? I am. How can we make it up to you, Starling? <laughs> hey, this is almost as exciting as Captain Cosmos. I told you it wasn't just a show for little rockets. How long do we have to watch this? You have to sit through the entire five-hour marathon. <laughs> and now, another exciting episode of My Lunar Ponies. <laughs>